your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is Tidewater Point, episode 30? Yep, episode 30. There we go. All right, where we left off was the Thomas here. Uh, he was uh, shunting uh, the inbound train. Here's the recipe. Still got more to do. And these here are all going to go down to the uh, lower yard, I believe, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Burnside Coal Dock, River Point out, Tidewater out. Yeah. Those are all going down to the uh, uh, lower uh, south yard there. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take Thomas and we're going to move him over uh, and pick up the rest of these cars. In fact, all of these cars, let me check to make sure now, are all going to either River Point out and then uh, the two on the end are going to Tidewater out, which means they're leaving the map. So, yeah, that's all South Yard. <clears throat> or the Lower Yard, however you want to put it. Okay. So here we go. Probably should have decoupled first. It's all good. All right, I've said this in every other, uh, every one of my other series. So uh, if you've been watching my other series, you're going to have to listen to it again. And that is, I went out and bought myself a new monitor. Yes, I did. I bought myself a new monitor. Uh, the new monitor has a higher refresh rate, which seems to make trains a heck of a lot smoother. Uh, now, one thing I haven't mentioned, I had the, the graphics all maxed out. And I just scaled them down just a little bit. Uh, to get even smoother action. So we'll see how that works today. Uh, if uh, you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Why don't you just let me know? Sure. All right. So we're going to pull this entire cut off the inbound track here. And then we're going to go back and double up with those ones that I temporarily put over there on track four. And then we are going to uh, take them all down to the south yard. That is the sequence of events. I mean, even this right here just seems a lot smoother to me. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm uh, seeing things. Again, let me know. Okay. There we go. Boom. There we go. Let's pull it forward now. This time we're going to have to cross the old level crossing. The road to Tidewater Rail. I think this whole cut is nothing but tankers and empty oil tankers and empty coal cars. I think. That is smooth. Smooth action. I like it. Here's one of those uh, posts you put in for a gas line or whatever. I mean, who puts that kind of detail in a route? Jointed rail, obviously, because this is where this, this route is from. All right. You know what? I should have checked. There's nobody coming back this way, was there? We ram into somebody? No, we didn't. Yeah. The route's so small, if there was going to be somebody there, they would have been there already. And i got to remember that uh, the last episode we, we ended up, I think we actually ended up moving Jessica. I don't know. I started to get, to, started to get confused between the three series that I'm running. It's hard to remember when you get to my age. Of 24. 
you know, 24 years, it's that's when the memory starts to go. Alrighty, here we go now. We'll slow it down just a little bit. Nice. Okay, so let's wait till we clear this switch here. There it is. We cleared it. Stop. And now back it up, buddy. All right. Should already be set, but we'll just double check. Uh, see, it's not set. See, that's why we double check. Go like this. We'll go like this. Okay. Then we'll come back over here and we'll say, let's grab out of this car right here and ride it in. We'll ride it all the way back. Now, the length of these, this cut I have here, this might induce a use one of my road trains. Have them come out of the uh, repair uh, facility there here in Tidewater. And haul them on out. We'll see. Here we go. Slow it down. Get down to five mile an hour. So our conductor can hop off. Look at him hop off. Isn't he talented? There we go. Oh, here we, there we go. Okay, now just to be sure. Oh, we're going to go back here and make sure. Ooh, this is a lot longer than I thought. Didn't see all those flat cars on the end there. Uh, this, I don't think it's going to come back this far, is it? I don't know, but we'll switch it just to be safe. All right, so now we got to clear uh, this switch going this way, right? Yeah, to get over towards the lower yard. This is one long cut. Looks like we're okay back there. Once he moves these cars down to the uh, south yard, his turn will be done. I have no idea where we're going next. I'll figure it out, though. It's on the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet knows. All right. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder, when we go forward here like we normally do, is there going to be enough room to fit this train? Because the track does go off board at that point over there it's only so long it's not forever we'll check it out we'll see so that'll go this way right and this will go this way yes and this will go this way how long is this over the trestle oh my gosh yeah it's way way long enough where does it go look at that and then it's the old road runner with the uh tunnel painted on there except there ain't no tunnel painted on there it's just a wall Okay, uh, fly me back over here. 
That's not going to be the wrong one there. Fly me back to the front of the train, shall you? Thank you. All right, here we go. Got some service roads coming up here. green just knocked it down we're looking good and this is the switch we got across right here the old 310 768 and we get to look at this long beautiful train once again That's nice. This is what you come here for, right? If it's not, well, this just may not be the channel for you. This does it for me. Then we have the quiet trucks on these uh, coal cars. Quite so much sound but you'll notice these coal cars uh, the coal hoppers do have random numbering on them that's cool thinking this might be the longest cut I've ever pulled on this route could be Noticing, too, are these, these signals on this gantry over here are way above the gantry. Is just that so you can see it farther away? Is that what it is? You want to get it above the tree line? I'm not sure. You'd think just up on the gantry you'd be tall enough. Got these like these extension poles. Alrighty. There's a full full car. We got a couple ethanol tankers here. And then we got our well cars. I think these are all going on to the dock. I think the well cars are. On the Tidewater dock. And then we got a whole bunch of flat cars. TOFCs. Look when I uh, how long did that take? Three, four minutes. I'll have to look when I uh, render this video, just because it interests me. That was long. All right, let's slow it down.
Wait till he clears. Clear. This one should already be right. Yeah, it is. Okay, now we're going to back it up. They get slow. Well, we'll put a little more juice on it. Alrighty. Here we go. Headed back now. Uh, and these first are Tidewater TOFC. The first two are. We're going to leave that up this time. And uh, that's the Tidewater dock, dock, which is track five. Let's go uh, do this. Track five, right? So eight. There's seven. There's six. And here's five. Right? Yeah. Track five. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, though, because uh, Tidewater Dock is also track six. We're going to put it on track six with the rest of the cars that are already there. Right? Is that what I have? Yeah. Five and six. Okay. We're probably missing the whistle and bell. Oh, yeah. We definitely are. We'll turn the bell on now. Pretend that I did the whistle and bell the entire time. Okay. So this is going on to trees. First two flat cars are going on to track five. Then we got some Tidewater outs, which are going to be track eight. Eight, seven, yeah, track six. Okay. Go down just a little bit here. Now the conductor, and he had a little bit of a walk to get back here. Or he could have illegally rode on this flatbed. Can the guys from the tower see us? Ah. Probably safe. They probably wouldn't care anyway. I think. All right. Slow it down just a little bit more. Good. Now let's back it up till this second one clears. Right, right, right there. Okay, so that's two, yep. Then we'll apply. Very good. And now these are going to Tidewater Out, which is track eight. In fact, it's all, yeah, it's all these flat cars up to the well car that's up there. We're all going on track eight. Tidewater out. Okay. Conductor will walk back over here. And wait for him to sneak by here. Tidewater out means they're going, is that west on the route? Going out this way. River point out means they're going to go out through river point. That's how I have it designated. Just so I keep it straight in my brain. In my CNO Hinton one, I actually have town names where they're going to. Not that that makes a difference. I do. Okay. Let's back it up now. And make our connection right here. Let's get down on it. Of course, what is, uh, 
to remember. What is... Because there, isn't there... There's a walking camera in this one. Oh, geez. That, it'll hit at five. It's deeper than that. No, I, no, I stopped it. Yeah, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. All right. Uh, yeah, there's a walking one, right? Uh, is that... Uh, or is this camera? There's the drone. What's one? One is the cab camera. Two is the chase camera. Three is the line side. Four is the roaming. Do I not have it in there? I don't know. Okay, not now I'm playing around with cameras when I should be paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, let's go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. When I uh, put you guys on pause, I'll figure out where the walking camera is. There we go. Stop it right about there is good. Which room we got left? We still got lots of room on this track. Okay. Little slack action there. A little more slack action. <laughs> okay. Apply. Go here. How? Where are we going now? Now River Point out is just one track over on track seven. I think we're still across the uh, Tidewater uh, crossing, right? Pretty sure we are. Let's take an aerial view. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way, way across the crossing. All right. So now we got to hit down here to track seven. There we go. I still can't get over the smoothness. It is running so nicely right now. Okay, so now we got River Point out. It's all the well cars, right? Plus, it looks like it's those two tankers. And then we have the one that's going to Burnside Coal Dock. That's going to be the full, the loaded, uh, loaded one there. Okay, so the loaded coal car does not go on this track. And the loaded coal car is right here. So we'll click on it. And then we'll come back over here. And we're going to butt these on to track seven. All right, here we go. Doing some drilling. Comes. Beautiful. And we're going to back these up to this frog right here. Right here. You know, I thought that frog stood for something. I can't imagine something rail over something or another. Turns out I don't. Uh, they got these little pointed parts here. Uh, you can't really see them here. I don't think that this one's on here exactly correct. Uh, but they come to a V. And apparently the bottom of a horse's hoof has a V on it as well. And they call that a frog. Now, why do they call that a frog? I don't know. Never didn't go that far in my research. Way too busy. But uh, yeah, that was just kind of interesting. I thought. But it is these metal parts that help the <clears throat> the. Uh, you know, the wheels stay on the track when they're going from one track to another. On a turnout or whatever. They don't derail, obviously. It guides them. All right, so we got that. No, wait a minute now. Didn't I say that this one wasn't going on here? I Yeah, I did say that. Because it's going to the Burnside Coal Dock, which is Tidewater Dock, which is track five. So let's pull it forward just a little bit.
This is what we call in railroading a mistake. Well, we got to pull forward anyway, so it's not as if it's a huge mistake. There we go. Snap it right there. Perfect. Now apply. There we go. Okay. So this one is going to the Burnside Coal Dock. Uh, and that's going to be uh, track... We're going to put it on track six again. Right. Track five is also for the Burnside Coal Dock, but we're going to fill up track six first. Use track five only as an overflow if we need to. I'm going to try to keep that track open as a kind of a runaround, although we do have this track on this side, too. It was a bypass, I should say, not a runaround. Okay. We got this. And we got that. That's right. So track six just for this coal car. Here he comes. Okay, drop this one coal car off on this track. And as you can see on there, we got a couple of tidewater outs, and then we got a whole ton of river point outs. River point out galore. Come on, you can do it. Keep pushing. A little bit further. There we go. Alright, let's move up to here. Some serious slack action. There we go. Well, still doing some slack. We're doing the dance. Okay, is it done now? We'll apply it. There we go. I finished it for it. Okay, so now we're going to Tidewater out. And Tidewater out again is track six. Just the last two are going to Tidewater out. Points west. I think that's west. Here we go. We cleared it. And let's drop these off on track eight. And then I don't know if all the rest of them, but a ton of them on there, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner there, are going to River Point out. And that's track seven. So we'll have the uh, conductor walk over there and throw that one right away. Of course, with this one, we can get right down on the coupler seat on this one, can't we? Close as I can get right there. Got some couple action for you coupler lovers. What happened? Hey, kid, we'll complete stop. Okay, very good. Give it some more juice. There we go. All right. Move it to right here. And we'll stop it right there. All right. So this is where am I at now? There I am. On tide water out. That's where I'm going to go one more forward. That'll be the river point out. Then some slack action here, right? Apply, go here. 
And then we'll pop it up to get that. Okay, these are River Point out. The whole lot is River Point out. Okay. Which is track seven. So it's a whole lot of empty uh, coal hoppers. And then a few more oil at the front there. Empty oils. Uh, we don't need that anymore because I know they're all going on at River Point out. Flash over onto this side. Okay. We're going to check out what we got here in length. Now, Tidewater out. Got some room. Now, River Point out. I don't know. This is going to be tight. Let's do this, right? We only have, we don't have an overflow track. We can use number five, though. Uh, let's have this go this way and this go this way just to be safe. Here, 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 here. Yeah, okay. I can't imagine it's going to come back this far. Uh, there you go. All right, that should be safe right there. Let's run back up here now. Actually, we're kind of flying, aren't we? Uh, all right. Now we'll back it up. He's still got his bell going, but I think he's still across, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he is. He's still across that. Anybody trying to go to work on Tidewater Docks is just going to have to wait. Train can be a pain, but the train also uh, you know, supplies most of your business. So, it's a give and take. There we go. Sneaking up on a couple here. There it is. Now let's push it back. See what kind of weight he's pushing here now. Uh, it is above his... Uh, he's rated at 1,500. And it is a 2794 is what he's uh, pushing right now. It's nice and flat. It's not too hard. Once the uh, tanker has come up this way, we're going to fly back and see what kind of room we still have on this track. There are tankers on this, right? <laughs> Is that one now? Is that, did I see one there? Oh, yeah, that's the first tanker coming up here now. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's the first tanker. Now, what are we looking like? Oh, yeah, we're not going to, we're not, it's not going to all fit. Okay, so we're going to grab onto this. And then we're going to ride this back. And we're going to stop them just before that searchlight signal there. There's no way this is all fitting on there. Stop it right there. Alrighty. So yeah, this is River Point out. We're definitely gonna have to get one of our engines out of there to haul these cars away. Okay, so let's uh where are we gonna cut it at? Eh, this is pretty not quite all the way past the frog, but that's eh, good enough. Close enough for railroad work. Now we're gonna stick the rest of these over onto track five as just the overflow. All right. I cannot believe we're almost 35 minutes into this already. Again, it seems like I've been playing for five minutes. All right. There we go. Real quick clear on that one. Now we're going to back it up this way. 
That's correct. And this is correct. Okay. Now let's just stay. Let's stay over here. Uh, where are we going to clear those? There's a dwarf over here, isn't there? There sure isn't. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just clear them to about right here in this area. In order to give enough track. This track here leads up to the engine. Uh, the engine shed. The engine repair shop. The guys with the wrenches. Kill the bell now, too. We're no longer on the crossing. comes and we'll stop it about right there all right so that's gonna end thomas's long long turn uh i'm gonna put you guys on pause and uh, figure out where we're going next Now we're with Harry back here in River Point. He's that sexy beast right over there, that uh, C30-7. Uh, and I figured out the walk camera now. I programmed it. Boom. Now we're walking. Right, this, this is the walk camera. Can I walk through this wall? Well, yep, I can walk right through the wall. That's nice. Uh, probably can walk through the cars and everything. You do real close over the tracks here, don't you? So now we're Harry. Harry just uh, took a whiz. As I'm coming from here, there's nowhere to take a whiz. He, uh... He tried to put out the burning mattress that's under the bridge over there. See it? Yeah, he couldn't do it. So he's coming back over this way now. Uh, is there a way to go faster? I don't know. Plus, walking on the tracks like this is really dangerous. You should never do this. Uh, and then he can come up here and say, look, it's my C-30. And then I can get on board. Uh, yeah, now I'm on board. Okay, that's kind of cool walking around like that. I normally don't do that, but... Okay, so now, uh, Harry has got uh, nine cars that he's going to uh, put off, set out into the Purdue Grains uh, standby yard. He's got three uh, container cars, three well cars that have to go into the River Point uh, container, and then uh, he's got to uh, set out three TOFCs as well, also in River Point. So that's what he's doing. Uh, Jeff is the one who called him over here to let him know all this needed to be done. Uh, so we are going to have to go down. Now, wait a minute now. Houston, we have a problem. Because we set these cars out. Because we figured, oh, we won't need to do anything. This guy's working these cars here. <laughs> okay, so he still has two more to empty. Who is this, by the way? This is Adair. Adair is working uh, only this. Did he already get those all worked out? It says he's got some at River Point. Okay, do we already have cars sitting over here? Oh my gosh, we do. And they still haven't been unloaded yet. <laughs> okay, so what's going to have to happen is... Uh, he's going to have to go over and pull these cars out of the way. But can he really do that? Because then if what's-his-name goes up here and parks here... Then, he, then Adair will be unable to come and get his cars out because Harry will be in the way. See, this is a this is a quandary. So what if... And who's this? <laughs> There's another engine sitting over there because I'm thinking, what if he just uh, drops off his Purdue cars and then waits his turn? I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, but that would mean we'd have to get this person out of the way because these are all... So he's got, what, nine to drop off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it nine? Yeah, he's got nine to drop off. I don't think he's going to fit nine here. So, okay, so we need to move this train out of the way, uh, whoever this is. Move him. We could just stick him on this track right here. That's that's, that's like an engine track just waiting for us. Uh, Yeah, okay. So who, who the heck is this? This is Dave. What's Dave doing over here? Oh, he's over here to pick up some Purdue cars. But that's but it's not your turn, Dave. You gotta wait. All right, so we're gonna go this way, right? And we're gonna go this way. We're gonna move Dave up and out of the way here. 
was like a, a multi-faceted move in order to get uh, to Harry's turn. Okay. So, uh, oh, I just went to the walking around camera. We're going to be the conductor now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going a little fast. Going a little fast. Let's slow it down. There you go. Plus, oh boy, the whole screen is bled out by this thing. Plus, I can't tell when it clears. Is it cleared? It is. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the... Yeah, there we go. I like that more better. All right. Walking around is cool, but... Okay, so if he goes this way, uh, can he shove these four just a little bit? He can, and then pull them back in order to get out of that track. But do we really need him to get out of this track? Why don't we just have him go right up here and wait? He'll fall out some switches, but I'm okay with that. All right, stop with the bell. Stop with the bell, Dave. All right, so just get out of the way. It's basically what we want you to do. We want you to clear out of the way of this track here, and then we have another track to put more of them on there. Okay, so we'll we'll get him to come up over here past this frog. We'll also tell him, uh, you know, give him the signal for let's go. Put some steam on it. You're going too slow. All right, here he comes. All right, so we're going to park him right there. Right, right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so he'll wait there because he's waiting to do work uh, the Purdue. Uh, he's picking up about 16 cars. Okay, so then we got to come over here. Now, do we have to come over here to pull these off? I don't think so because he's going to have to go over there and pull his out of the way anyway. <laughs> it's a puzzle, folks. Okay, so now we can move Harry and get him to go over to Purdue. Uh, so, yeah, he's got Purdue green cars at the end here. Then he's got all this. Then he's got Purdue green cars again. But what we can do is uh, push the Purdue here, push those other cars here, push the remaining Purdue's here. Do da do da. Then he can just sit out here and wait until Adair is done working the same yard he's trying to work. Now, why wouldn't I just have Adair come over here and grab these cars? Ah, oh, what fun is that? And why don't we bottle the, the rules that I uh, made for myself? All right. Uh, yeah, because this is the way I like to run it. Again, nonsensical but fun. All right, so we got to go... Yeah, he's got to come this way. Then he's got to come this way, right? Then he's got to go that way. Keep him straight. Keep him straight so he doesn't derail. He's He's got a green, right? He does. Look at that. He's got a green. Okay. Oh, uh, where are we at? Here we are. Where'd you go? <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Now we're, now we're in the right spot. Thanks for the bell. Thank you very much. All right. So we're going to pull him down this track way over here. And he can set out those Purdue cars. That's what he'll do first. We'll give him a little more steam than that. That is the switch he is going to have to clear. There we go. So that'll free up, uh, what was it, track something or another, track six, was it? I don't know. Whatever track needed to be freed up now is going to be freed up so that uh, Jeff can do some more chunting onto that track when he's got the next drill to do. I don't think anybody's sitting on the on the inbound track in this yard, though. going over those uh, over the frogs there. Okay, 
Slow it down just a little bit. And let's apply some more auto brake here. And let us wait. Clear. There we go. And now we'll put her in reverse. There we go. Let's make sure this is all set correctly now. That is... <clears throat> he's going to come back this way. This is... This is, and this is not, right? So we want to put as many as we can on this track first just to fill it up. And I don't want to be down on this end now, do I? I really don't. I want to be down on this end. Can we hear the bell from here? I cannot. Also blowing the horn, I cannot hear that. These are empty, like I said before, these are empty gasoline tankers that Adair is working. And he's he's still emptying these last two. Then he's got to go and uh, he'll also capture those uh, well cars, pick those up, and the TFOCs that are over there. Which will then allow Harry here, that we're working with now, to get his well cars and TFOCs in there. He can't do it now. It's a very busy, for as small as it is, this is a very, very busy uh, spot. Laying on the horn again. I don't, I don't hear nothing. He's too far away. Yep, I know a train in this block is not cleared yet. But I'm actually trying to send it out. There's that burning mattress. Iron burning mattress. Okay. I don't see we're on this side. There we go. We got less than an hour in the day until quitting time at 1608. That's how we do it here in microchip rails, MR. I think MR stands for Montana, Montana Rail Link, doesn't it? Maybe it's MRL. I don't know. I don't want to steal anything from anyone. Okay, so let's go down. What? No, 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 no uh, so we're going to go back down here and wait for him to clear. A dare makes it a little bit harder to see. Well, that's not a dare. A Dave makes it a little harder to see. But he's always been a kidder, that Dave. All right, uh, slow it down like that. Okay. Got that right there. So we'll apply. Have him uh, pull it forward now. So we can get these onto this track. Because they don't belong over here. And how much room do we have on this one now? we got to fit, what, another five over here? And we'll fit some of them on there. It won't be, I don't think it's going to be all five, but we'll see. All right, so now we want to come down here till we clear this. We don't want to put it on this track because anything that don't fit on that track, we're going to put on this track. Does that make sense? <laughs> the hoppers. So we don't want to. Telephone poles in a bad spot right there. Train 
righty. Slow that down like that. Beautiful. Throw the switch. Back these onto this track just temporarily. This uh, this route being as small as it is uh, really presents a lot of uh, a lot of dispatching and shunting puzzles, which I love. On my UMR route. And, and on the Ceno hit, there's a lot more room. So I haven't really run into problems on that one yet. Occasionally I do on the UMR, but I've been running that one longer. And I'm imagining that when the Ceno hit and gets more and more cars on it, it just becomes more and more complicated. I mean, obviously. All right. Getting you know, I'm starting to think, is this track going to have a problem here down here? Okay, no, it's set right. Switch on the far end to set right. I don't think we'll reach it, but as always, safety third. That's what I'm thinking. Here we go. Slow that down. Do right, right there. All right. Apply that like that. And then we'll pull it forward. Get as many as we can onto this second track once again. Or the first track, or whatever track we were on last time, whatever number you want to assign to it. Okay. Here we go. Back onto this one here. Okay, now let's do this. Go to the walking camera. Talk about being up on coupler action. Oh, got too close, so we clipped. All right. This is super coupler, coupler action. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's jump back over here now. Fly, fly. We're just going to move it up to about this frog right here. There we go. I doubt we fit all five on there. I really doubt that. And I'm really right. Okay, so uh, let's... Now, normally, I would stop it at this frog right here, but that's good enough. So we'll apply it right here. We'll break it off right here, make our cut right here. We'll pull it forward. Like so. And then we're going to stick the other three. Oops. On to this final track here. It's a good thing that uh, Dave's over here to pick up 16 of these because we are starting to run out of room here. Okay. We'll back these up to this frog right here. Seems like an idea. Trap between two junctions. Okay. 
Okay, stop it right there. We will apply and decouple. Beautiful. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to, as his final move in his turn, we're just going to couple him back up to uh, these here. Just as a reminder to myself that that's what he's doing down here. Later on when I see him sitting on that track, I'll be like, what's he doing? Of course, I do have it written down on my spreadsheet too, the switch list and everything else. But Just trying to keep it all straight in the old brain pan. And we also want to make sure that he clears this. So whatever Dave's got to do, he can do. Of course, I'm thinking, too, now we may have messed up Dave. He might be able to pull it the other way through the yard. Now there's no track for him to go around because I'm on the, on the runaround track or the bypass track. But that's, that's a puzzle for another day. All right, so we'll hold it right there. And we're going to hold the whole thing right here. That's it, folks. That's all we got for today. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I had fun. Hope you did as well. Um, why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like? Hope you like the newer graphics, the, the, the smoother graphics. Let me know how you feel about that. Uh, and if you don't like the fact that the police are up here shaking down this uh, farmer, well, this just meant this. <laughs> I came up with that police thing at the last second there, and I, it, it threw me off. This just may not be the channel for you. <laughs>